Hi guys, so in part 4 of this video, the tutorial videos I'm doing on my UE4 fan spawner, which you can find in the description. Uh, in this part, I'm going to be showing you the 240k test, sorry, the 245k test, which as you can see, I have drawn out square, oh sorry, rectangles of, I think they're approximately 35,000 seats each. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I worked out in total is 245. I have actually tested this with a million fans and it works really well. Uh, I can't get 120 FPS. I can just show you that just now if I go to window details. Nope, we need port. Need port two. Here we go. And if we do, oh, we'll show the FPS. See right now we're shooting 120 FPS and press Alt P. Give it a second. And we'll slowly one by one. This is due to our delay that we've added. It just makes the whole process a lot simpler and stops the loop header. And prevents crashing too. So you can see right now they're all doing their animation. If I bring up the command window and type in freeze rendering maybe. So with freeze rendering, once the click says rendering frozen up in the top corner, if we actually move further back, we can actually see the models. Okay, like like uh, the lower models, the more lower LEDs coming into play. Here, which obviously when you're quite far back and you're at the front kind of row, does it really? Uh, you don't really notice them at all. So you can actually see the different level of detail. Sorry, I'm going over it quite fast. You do get the gist of it. And they are all very optimised. For some reason the chairs are removed here. I think that's just because you can't see them. I don't really know Andrew Legend did that to be honest, but Yeah, you can't see the models of the chairs there. And yeah, I'm also gonna come out of this. And oh, oh I haven't resumed the render. That's what the chairs look like at lower. The lower LEDs on the chairs. I'll show you next is the 35k test at night. So if we open up this world, when you download, when you buy this and download it and put it in your own project, you will be able to see the test. The test world will still be in it, so you will be able to check them out for yourself. I've also got the Wembley base in here. Now that is actually for the test world and the Wembley base demo, which showcases the way you can. Uh, you know, like make each row go up higher, sort of thing, and now you can just draw the seats out around the stand. So what we've actually got here, if we go into here, now in here you will see we have our code here. It's getting all the file VP. And for each one that's on the screen, it's times it by 0 0.3, so if it's a 1, it'll times it by 0 0.3, and so on and so forth, so that we have a delay. In this as well, we also have phone flashes, which I was going to show you. And what phone flashes do is, it'll like, basically if you're at an event or a concert, if that's like a kind of game or something you're doing, you'll be able to, uh, if you put this to 100%, it'll have random flashes going off in the crowd. Which I'm going to show you in a sec. And also you've got constant lights. There's also like the phone lights are recording. The phone lights will always be on. The phone flashes are actually adding a blueprint in. And it might add in like 10 or 20. You can also just alter this based on your... Uh, you can also alter this. You can just sort of alter this based on what your computer can handle. The phone flashes. But the constant phone lights, I find sometimes find it's better to keep them at 10 or even 20%. But you can't actually put this up to 100%. But for the phone flashes, at 100%, it doesn't put every single one on. You know, if you had 35,000 and you had 35,000 lights going off, it wouldn't be very performance efficient. So what I've decided to do is I've limited the number so when it's 100% it takes an average of how many fans there is and divides it by a certain amount and long story short it does a bit of maths and it sets like a maximum for every computer you can go into the actual fan spawner and it's in here I think where is it sorry I'll 
for you Full fast as it is. So you can actually adjust some of these settings in here. You can have a look for yourself. If you want more more than see I've, I've wrote down here two hundred for best performance. But you can divide it by a smaller number if you want more sort of thing. Uh, we'll just go demonstrate this. So we click play. And here you go, you can see the phone tor torches and the flashes are going off. Now currently the animation I have is they're all st the fans are standing up, which doesn't really showcase the lights very well, but... Uh, we can actually... I'll quickly change that. We want fans, crowd... And we'll just this back to zero. Hopefully with like a number like five, we should have... The fans just sitting down. Actually, maybe it might be. I'll go make this seven. There we go. So the fans down. You can see the phone lights. If you have a hundred, hundred percent on, it is instant. Like instant sell. Uh, it is instant. So like the fans. So it doesn't really matter how much lights you have. And I have actually added a bit to the material so it does rotate them, based on where you are. When you're up close, there is a bit of a, a size you can see. It doesn't look very realistic when you're up close. However, if I was to go into the phone torches. I'll find it in here. The material is called light, I think. Fan light constant. There we are, light. So we'll actually show you. If we end up plugging in this one which is the scale, is that it doesn't rotate, so you can actually change this based on what you would like. If anybody knows a way you can combine these two together, which I did try to add and multiply, and overall I just couldn't really find a way, so I've just left it there so you can switch switch it, but I would prefer to have the best of both worlds. But unfortunately, that we can't do that. So I'll skip it to when the compiling is done, and we'll show you what it looks like with the scale. Right now that we're back from compiling, we should be able to go back to here and click play again. And you actually see all the phone lights here. But as we get closer, they do get really, really small to the point where you can barely see them. So you can barely just see it there. But it does scale down. Now again, if, but the only problem is when it's not rotating, when it goes to the side view, you can't really see any lights. So if anybody does have a solution, I would be much appreciated if you could either email me or put it in the comments of this video or even comment it on the marketplace. I'd be much appreciated. And yeah, that's about all there is to cover in this part of the video.